artist, it's over for you. Put on your pin, shut on your computer, put on your paintbrush. AI art has taken over the art industry. I mean, it's what I would have said if the AI was literally robots that could do everything on their own. But that won't happen anytime soon. So um, I have taken the opportunity to sit down with an intellectual property and copyright lawyer. And we talked about AI art. I've taken the liberty for the art community to ask very tough and hard questions that we as artists have the right to know and how we can face the change in the future. So um, this is a breakdown video of the actual full discussion. The full discussion via video will actually be on Stain IP's official channel. So go check that out, it is going to be linked. Um, so with further ado, here is um, a video filled with answers that I promise you, you need. Enjoy. I'm Christian Stein from Stein IP and I'm an intellectual property attorney. Now what intellectual property is for your viewers that don't know. Yes. In terms of the art community, we look at copyright and trademarks relating to art and artist and creativity and patents and then we're talking about AI and AI art, art yeah. which is a very controversial, very controversial and contentious <laughs> topic. Uh, I think that that sort of describes it in a nutshell. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, guys uh, from part one, which, where I gave my opinion from an artist's point of view. So we're going to go and discuss the legal aspects on AI and all these questions that we as artists have. And yeah. What is AI? Oh yes. I yes. think that's a very, <laughs> that important, very topic important topic. Because at the moment it's discussed it's in AI art, but in reality it's not really AI. It not. It's, it's just it an not. image generator. Yes, it is. Um, well, to an extent. To an extent, um, yeah. When we look at artificial intelligence or what the public regards as artificial intelligence at this stage, especially looking at it from a legal standing, we refer to it as AI, but it is actually smart programming and machine learning. Yeah. Artificial intelligence in the true sense of it hasn't really been developed yet. Do AI companies actually have the right to use their work <laughs> to learn these, uh, these algorithms in uh, Short answer is no. But when I say short answer, I mean just it depends on various aspects. Um, yes, they don't have the right to use your work without your consent. Mm. No, no person, no company, no AI can use your created work without your consent. But where the loopholes come in is, where did you post it? Mm. Where have you already distributed your art? Whether it's physical distribution or more commonly digital distribution on certain social media platforms, which most, especially newer artists use very successfully. Mm. And what is the relation you relationship you have with that platform you are using to distribute or at least give, give um, get your art out in the market and out to the, the public. What is your understanding with them? What rights did you give to them when you posted? Probably without you realizing it. Yes. And how can they then reuse it? So yes, that AI is not necessarily allowed to use it, but they might have a run around where they might for argument's sake on a specific social media platform i'm not naming any because yeah. i don't want to go into that <laughs> but on a specific social media platform if you upload an image you give that platform the right to share that image with other third-party developers including ai mm, apps. interesting okay you are the author and creator of your your art mm. um, and therefore you are the owner yeah yeah if you do not give consent to somebody to use it, like an AI generator, mm -hmm. or 
upload it to the generator and willingly to say, please use this yes. as part of your platform, um, they cannot legally use it. Okay. That's the short of it. back to the social media as you know kind of agreeing to uh, a, a third party using your stuff mm. don't you think that these social media platforms should actually include a more direct approach to say well there is a button before you post to say okay i do honestly <laughs> agree to use it or not because for example yeah. art station which is a platform for digital artists and creators and such mm they've actually included something similar to that, which a third party cannot use yes. it if you tick that you don't want it used for AI or learning. Yeah. So don't you think something like that should be considered for social media platforms? Yes. Sure, the answer is yes, it mm. should be considered. I, I, I believe it should be considered. And I think a lot of people would agree with us on that, except for the guys that own these platforms. Yeah, so. uh, fact of who actually owns the AI hardware because <laughs> I think that's a good point yes. to start at because like we said though if someone just yeah Leonardo da Vinci you know smoking a joint that that isn't really art at all I mean it's yeah. just it might be artistic it might be artistic but but, but there wasn't there, really there wasn't, really there wasn't thought and creativity going yes, into yes, that yes, yes, but yes. when for example this Jason had created this art with me he spent hours in it mm. so I mean, that is kind of, well, well, he kind of owns it, right? Sort of. So, yeah, it's a difficult uh, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, so, because actually, who owns it? Because um, is it the user or is it the AI? Is it that, that, that depends on the AI uh, platform and it depends on the user policies. Mm. Because sometimes, again, why it's so important to read the terms and conditions when you use any application, yeah. any platform. Um, if how it should happen, arguably, is I use the tool to create the artwork, therefore the artwork is owned by me. Yes. However, the policy of this AI app might be if you create something using our app, we own it. Yeah. Or there might be a co-use or co-owns um, something again, here we're going into the technicalities of copyright, but yes. where you own it, you can reuse it, but they still ret re um, retain certain rights to also do that. So, so, firstly, look at what app are you creating, what are the use and ownership terms, and then make sure that you, if you use an app as a tool to create legitimate artwork, and when I say legitimate, we had what we refer to now, yeah. you should own it. Mm. It's similar to you, I know, you, you generate yeah, digital I, art. Yeah, I basically, yeah, yeah, I mean, I do digital art. And I've actually used uh, AI software as well, but as a reference. As yeah. well. Generally, how it would work is, again, subject to the, a policy being the contrary, is I give it input, how long ever it is, and that art that comes out yeah. is the output of my input, and I own the intellectual property or the copyright in that mm -hmm. art. Again, subject to whatever that app I use might say. It might be contrary to that, mm. please. But but the general term would be that. Yeah. Um, so ownership of the creation would ideally lie with the creator, being you as the input user. Yes. The app does not create. No. The app renders based on again algorithms and predetermined rules and input export. You create. You are the artist that creates. is cases i mean for example there is an ad which is an uh, a, a stream artist or she street stream uh so she created uh, or she was busy creating an artwork and so a user came i think that's everyone should hear that user yes. so the user so the viewer came uh, was on a on a twitch stream saw the artwork took it the incomplete artwork uh fed it into ai and finished it what happened is this person then posted it on Twitter uh, before she actually finished her artwork 
and uh, said, okay, well, this is my artwork, great and stuff. And when Ed ended up posting the final piece, the, this guy demanded in the comments, oh, yeah, you should credit me. <laughs> but Bash case, you in so without a doubt. I think what the viewers need to realize that, yes, I, I think there is some places where AI, AI is infringing when I actually take the artist's Okay, yeah. work and oh, the style specifically, and still just learning yeah. it. But ultimately, the view of the user yeah, we'll, is, we'll it, the is the guy that's yeah. infringing. Well, we, we spoke about, and that just to throw a spanner in the works, we spoke here about input output. Yes. We, we spoke about the actual art. The, the outcome, the art, mm. we, we have a, and, and the scenario about infringement surrounding that and ownership surrounding that. We did not speak about the actual art pieces that are used as reference, the reference. by the third part, by these app developers, by these AI bots mm. without consent. So there's a big difference between the two that, that I think um, people should, should Understand the yep. one scenario we're looking at the user of the app and the art piece that is coming out. Yes. Where where the app is a tool. So we're looking at users. Okay. The second piece is we're looking at the app and how the app would use images to be able to regenerate or to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. And that is another scenario, and that, there's a few cases surrounding that. Mm. I know, and um, most recent one is the Getty Images one. Yeah. Um, where is the app allowed to use? And this kind of comes back to your yeah. original question: is can the app use images on the, on online? Because remember, if something is online, it does not mean it's free to use. Yes. Yeah. It's just online. It's still subject to copyright yeah. and protection. Yeah, um, can this app reference or use this as the data stream it uses to be able to generate art? Mm. Because, like we said, it's smart technology. It's not AI. It's not creating it out of thin air like you would. Yeah. It is. It needs. It needs. It needs it, data. It needs data. Yeah. And that data might include your art. Yeah. Is that infringement? And again, there, in my view is, yes, it is. If you did not give, like we said, if you did not give an AI creator the rights to use your app, okay. of your image, image for the app, they're infringing it if they use it. Mm. Subject again to policies of third party apps and those, those integrations that complicates this even further. Yeah. Look, if, if they general, if they literally, if you, if I put a scenario in where I want something like this, and they mm. literally give me your exactly. your image, yeah. that's, that's infringement. So sure, right? That is without a doubt not yeah, only yeah, yeah, the yeah. infringement of the user, but that app was written in such a way to give other people's art oh, as a reference. They yeah. did not recreate something from referenced images. They yeah. literally just copied and pasted. Mm -hmm. That's infringement on both sides. Yeah. By all means, don't, don't get me wrong there. Again, I agree that it is, is wrong. I am fully behind artists saying that when their, their works are used, they should be remunerated or, or given a choice right. for it to be used. I, I mean, our firm is based on those principles. Mm. Yeah, so, so looking at whether this has, is going to have a negative impact on the art community, yes. For various reasons. Yeah. One reason is the attitude. When I refer to attitude, I, I, I don't refer to it in a, oh, you've got an attitude. I refer yeah. to it in the attitude in which artists and art community will look at this. Mm. And this is not only the art community being the artists writing, it's the appreciators of art. Yeah. Personally, art should have emotion, and I haven't seen any AI generated art, irrespective of how good it is yeah. invoke emotion because as long as you have people that in the art community bombard artists using AI for reference or for whatever that is a negative input you put into yeah. this why be negative if you don't like AI art don't use it don't comment yeah, on it don't, comment don't on go it. out and find somebody that creates right. brilliant digital art and bash them because you're like ah oh, this digital 
this mm. is digital or this yeah. is AI generated. Yeah. Why put that negativity out there? Why not accept it? Yes, you don't like it. You don't like it, but, but you then can still accept it. Bro. You know what the nice thing is about any social media platform is you can skip. You don't have to follow. You that don't have to true. scroll further. Why put negativity in, into it? Why? Well, the reality yeah. is humans cannot help themselves. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying AI will have a negative impact on art community. I think first and foremost on that. Yeah. It will not take away money from artists. Because if I want to buy a piece of art, I want to buy a piece of art oh. I like. Yes. I'm not going to buy, buy instead of your art, which mm. I like, digital rendered art I don't like or AI rendered art I don't like mm. because I don't like it. Yeah. Artists forget sometimes, I'm not saying everyone, but most of the times artists forget that. I will still like your art. The fact yeah. that there is now competition generated through AI art does not mean I'm not going to like your art, yes. I'm not going to buy your art. Yeah. If I like your art, that's right. what I'm going to yeah. buy. I think what, you, what we can try and get across here is to the artists, and I think most of your viewers are fellow artists. Yes. Uh, look at, try and look at a positivity instead of just criticizing the person that uses it. Yeah. Try and respect the process because each person has their own process. process. Yeah. Um, and try and have positive debate as opposed to negative screaming yes. matches. Yeah. Because it's so easy to hide behind a screen and a camera, uh, a screen and a, and a keyboard yeah. and speak your mind, mm. not having that thought of how do you impact somebody else. Yeah. And then it becomes a necessary fight on something that should be debated yeah. and see how it falls within the, the community. Yeah. Because again, I do believe that AI is here to stay and it will just be, become more and more yeah. and more. And again, AI in the sense of what we view as AI, yeah. it's not true AI. That's true. My opinion is the same as it, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's something I know we, we share our opinion there on. Yes, yeah. It's not AI. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a piece of tech that decides mm. he was inspired or it was inspired by the view and then yeah. creates a piece of art. Right. It's not what we are looking no. at. No. It is system generated exactly. art based on databases. Yeah. It, it's I see it I see it actually as an extinction of digital art in a way. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, I think that's a good and again, yeah, you I, I love I would love to see the comments. It is an extension of digital art. Right. Because it is digitally generated art. Mm. However it's not you actually digitally generating yeah. it. It is a input Mm. output we start to end up generated. manipulating it uh, yes, to get it yes. as you want it in the future of all things do we as artists as digital artists specifically really need to worry no. that it is going to take away no. you know our space it, it won't um it, it won't it won't take away anything from you mm. in my view and yeah, I will refer, reference music. Mm. When digital music came out, yeah. it did not take away from rock bands. Yeah. It did not take away from the cl classical musicians right. that has been there, the, the style and the genre has been there for millennia. Uh, millennia. For, but, but a long for time. years. Yeah. Wow, millennia. <laughs> apologies for that. But, but for years. Because, again, and kind of bringing me back to my original point is... I like art because I like art. Yeah. I like this piece and not that piece because of the emotion it mm -hmm. The fact that there is now another player on the field yeah. does not take away from... It's not now going to convince me not to like your mm -hmm. art because you know I like your art. Yes. I also like some, like some of the digital art, art pieces and I also like some of... Especially your digital art pieces are amazing. <laughs> but, and, and, and I like some of the images being rendered by artificial intelligence I do like yeah same here but it does not mean I stop liking your art or other no, people it's just art. someone else it's just another liking. player on the field yeah. and because of that because of that scenario where any creative element and any creative industry should look at mm. is it won't take away from you as an artist because you still remain an artist yeah 
taking into account all the negative points we, we we've try to carry out right. here, but you will still be an artist. You will still sell your art to the people that would have bought your art because they wanted your art. Mm. They wanted Ezra's art. Yeah. They wanted um, Bonsai's art. They yes. wanted Jason's art because it's Jason's art or mm. Bonsai's mm. art or Ezra's art. Yeah. It, it, it's the reality that I think, and I think on that, that's the one thing. If you take, if you take away anything from this point, take that. I bought, most people buy art from an artist because they like that piece by that artist. Yeah, yeah. That won't be go away. It will stay. It will stay. Let's be honest. Yeah. So I think artist, you can chill. <laughs> yeah, please chill. <laughs> please chill. <laughs> please chill. <laughs> or just, just and create. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and just be aware of the news that's happening and yeah. be updated with everything. Yeah, and and please take into account that, like we keep saying, this is a new technology. It's, new technology. it's a new scenario. Yeah. There's still a lot of gray areas and still a lot of, a lot of uncharted waters, and we're trying to apply laws and principles pre-digital laws and principles mm. dating back in some cases to the 70s or 80s in South yeah. Africa a copyright law dates back to that Jeez, okay. where internet didn't even exist <laughs> so you're yeah. you're looking at yeah. new technology and trying to, trying to and being forced to apply archaic mm. laws and principles to this technology mm. so big with the community yeah. take into account that there is things that still needs to go through the motions like any new technology yeah. um i think Definitely. eventually that eventually people will sit back a few years from now and like oh, why did we worry or right. sit back and be like well, like they are <laughs> are ruling us now <laughs> but we don't know um, yeah i think I'm, I've, I've watched too many um uh, the sci-fi the sci-fi yeah, sci comes through stuff, very strongly <laughs> yes <laughs> very strong but, but, but yeah I, I don't don't think don't think we we and you as artists should be too concerned yeah no, no this that this is not my famous last words but <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm sure everything will sort itself out in time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like all things do. For sure. I hope that you have find it informative and have new views and opinions on the AI dilemma. So I would love to hear any, if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments as well as your opinions on these topics. As always, this is Ezra. Stay creative, be yourself, be kind.